Hello learners, welcome to Ahmed Coaching and I'm your teacher Dr. Anam. Today we are going to study about defined paraxia. The word paraxia it actually comes from the Greek word pyros. The word pyros means fire or burning heat. So it means that paraxia which is also known as fever is actually an increase in the body temperature of an individual beyond the normal range because when fever happens a person is going to feel like it's burning that is why the word pyros was taken to represent the fever which is paroxysm what happens that that normal body temperature which is usually or traditionally defined as 37 degrees celsius or 98.6 fahrenheit in case of fever this temperature is going to increase from 37 to 37.8 or even higher in other cases so temperature from 100 to 101 102 or so on is going to be known as paroxysm this increase in temperature is usually considered dangerous but it is natural defense mechanism of the body to fight against infection so it means that if any kind of infection takes place inside the body the first response of the body is to have a fever this is our response to defend the body against that invading pathogen what are the symptoms of paroxysm sweating chilling and shivering headache muscle ache loss of appetite irritability dehydration and general weakness these all are the symptoms of paroxysm now what are the causes of paroxysm or how paroxysm or fever happens first of all the main cause of paroxysm are the infection that infection could be caused by virus or it could be a bacterial infection along with this heat exhaustion certain inflammatory conditions inflammatory means related to inflammation something happens and the body is inflamed for example uh, you got a cut in your body and that cut causes the inflammation or swelling in that particular area so in response to that swelling paroxysm or fever it can happen along with this fever can happen in case of cancer or tumor Now what is the mechanism of this paroxysm like how this paroxysm is happening or what is the process what happens that leukocytes which are also known as white blood cells they are increased in response to the infection so what happens that when exogenous pyrogenes the pyrogenes are actually the pathogens and blood cells produce chemicals it means that they are the chemicals which are produced by the pathogens or blood cells and known as pyrogenes so what happened that exogenous or from outside pyrogenes they enter inside the body in this case they are going to be pathogens they are going to gain entry inside the body as soon as the pathogen gains entry inside the body the blood cells or the immune cells which are neutrophils and macrophages they are going to activate it and in this case they are going to produce endogenous pyrogenes endogenous pyrogenes are produced by blood cells while exogenous pyrogenes are pathogens these pyrogenes they are going to be circulating in the blood throughout the body and through the circulation they are going to reach to the hypothalamus the hypothalamus is actually a place which regulates the body temperature as soon as the pyrogens they are going to enter into the hypothalamus they are going to displace the set point of hypothalamus above the normal point which is 37 degrees celsius what will happen that set point is increased and because of this increase heat production is increased while heat loss it is decreased and as the heat loss is decreased the temperature of the body is going to be increase because now the heat is not lost and it is preserved or contained inside the body and because of this slowly and gradually the body temperature is going to increase the fever or high temperature helps in stimulating the protective mechanism against the pathogen so like i said before that it is a protective mechanism so it's going to protect the body from the pathogens now what can be the treatments which you can take in case of paroxysm or fever drink plenty of fluids 
hydrate your cells so that your enzymes they can work properly keep yourself cool use cold water bath or cold uh, bandages to keep your body temperature normal along with this rub the palms and soles peripheral parts of the body to increase the internal temperature of the body the temperature is going to be or the heat is going to be dissipated equally throughout the body along with this if you feel unwell give a recommended dose of paracetamol so in case of uh, paraxia you can use paracetamol so that was all about define paraxia if you have any question related to this topic you can ask me in the comment section i will see you in the next video